93 for English. That's the best report you've ever had. I'm almost the best in my year. If Lucy Robinson got hit by a bus, I'd be the top of the class. Cleo, you should hear how well Kim did in her exams. I did a lot better than you did when you were my age. You can tell me later. Didn't you have a biology exam last week? You should have the results back by now. I'm getting them next week. That's not true. The seniors already have their results back. I heard them talking. I'm going out. See you later. This is a whole new feeling for me. I could really get used to it. Get used to what? Academic success. C plus for biology. Not too shabby. That's great. How about you? A plus. It's not possible. You could do it too if you study. Yeah, if I didn't have a life or I was some kind of gig study slave. No offence. Is this all you two talk about? You're so competitive. Who cares anyway? Did I say something wrong? Hey. Cleo. Lewis, hi. How'd you go with your biology exam? Life isn't all about exams, Lewis. Not so good, huh? Hey, I was thinking, um, if you want me back as a study partner, of course, um, just give me a call. Anytime. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry, guys, I'd really like to be alone. Did we say something to upset you? No. Come on, Claire, spit it out. I failed biology. Hey, I'm sure it's not that bad. It's my worst result ever in anything. Everyone has a bad day from time to time. Last year, I got my worst result ever and I lived. It's not because I had a bad day. It's because I didn't have Lewis around. We always used to study together. Why don't you give him a call? That'd just confuse everything. We're friends now, and it just has to stay that way. You really need to get out more, Lewis. Charlotte, hey, how's it going? Good. Can't believe you're studying on such a great day. I'm fine. Really? Hey, I just had this fabulous idea. Why don't you take me out on your boat? <laughs> right now? Yeah. I mean, I just need some more artwork for my media folio and I'm looking for the perfect place to paint. Charlotte, I'm so sorry. I can't. I have study to do. Biology? You don't study biology. You do physics and chem. I just need to brush up on it sometimes to help other students to study. Like who? Like Cleo, actually. She should be calling me any minute. It's not a problem, is it? No, of course not. Why would that be a problem? Ta da! Mr. Ham. I see. I see. Where have you been? Just out with Emma and Ricky. Maybe that's the problem. What do you mean? I think there might have to be a few changes around here. Less socialising, for starters. Your biology teacher rang. Sorry, Dad. 
I was going to tell you. Cleo, you can always talk to me. Yeah, we wouldn't have laughed at you much. Kim, the good news is Mr Ham and I have come up with a solution. He's agreed to let you sit a supplementary exam on Monday. Really? There's more. He suggested a study partner to help tutor you over the weekend. Well, I guess I'll call Lewis then. Well, there's no need. Mr Ham's already had a student volunteer to help. Starting tonight. You're going to love this. Charlotte, what are you doing here? I'm your new tutor. Okay, I'll go over it once more. So, in mitosis, the parent cell makes a copy of each chromosome, and these copies are called sister chromatids, but together they're considered one chromosome. I will never understand that. <sighs> Come on, Cleo. I know this is hard for you, but you'll get it. Eventually. Look, after the cell divides, each chromatid is considered to be a chromosome in its own right. Got it? Yep, got it. Actually, I don't. Can you explain it again? <sighs> OK. Here's what I want you to do. Read everything from page 39 to 114 and do the exercises on page 80, then complete the questions on page 210. Are you kidding? That will take me hours. You want to pass, don't you? Yeah, well, I'd like some sort of life as well. Cleo, if you really want to do this, you're going to have to study for the rest of the weekend. All of it? All of it. Call me if you need anything. He's burning the midnight oil, Cleo. Good work. Keep reading, I'll get that. Morning, girls. Morning. We're here to see Cleo. She's having breakfast. Now, I have to ask you to keep your visit brief. Cleo has a big study day today. Hey. What's up? Cleo has a tutor. Charlotte. Charlotte, are you serious? Well, lucky we're here to rescue you. We're going shopping, wanna come? I wish. I'm under house arrest. I've got about three years of study to do. Courtesy of Charlotte. Sorry. Time to go, girls. Bye. Bye. All done? Oh. Yep, I've read everything there is to know about biology. Levels 11 and 12. Great. So you're free. Uh, I'm, I'm still expecting the call. Too bad. I was thinking of doing some drawing today and taking a picnic. Chicken wings, mini pizzas, these little chocolate souffles that you like so much. So why don't you turn your phone off and come with me? I shouldn't, really. Come on, it's a shame to waste such a beautiful day. Lewis. Don't you think that if Cleo needed your help, she would have called you by now? Oh, this is such a great spot. We're going to have so much fun. Sure. Oh, no, I will. Well, that's good. That's good. Why don't you come sit next to me? Make yourself comfortable. Uh, soon. I should um, check if my phone can get a signal out here. How's it going? Okay. I'm getting there. I'm very proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Oh, this 
been such a great day, don't you think? Yeah, it's been fun. It's really nice for just the two of us. We should do it again sometime. Hey, I want to show you something. My grandma left me all of this when she died. Some paintings of hers in here as well. Hmm. Like a what? What? Nothing. I, I just thought I'd recognize something. It's not important. Yeah, it is. Do you know where this is? Is this Maker Island? Ooh, maybe. I don't know. It really could be anywhere. I'm probably wrong. But I've been looking for this place all over. I really want to paint it just like Grandma. Can you take me there? Not today. It's getting too late. What about tomorrow? Please? For me? Hi, Mr. Satori. I'm here for tutoring. Of course, Charlotte. Please come in. I think Cleo's still in the bath. Oh, I don't mind waiting. Why don't you just go on up and tell you here? Thanks, Mr. Satori. Hi, Cleo. It's Charlotte. Are you for your study session? with my locket? Oh, sorry, I just saw it there and it's, it's beautiful. You had it for long? A while. It looks exactly the same as the lockets that Ricky and Emma wear. Yeah, we all got them at the same place. Did you finish everything? Everything. Didn't get much sleep, though. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. These all seem to be in order. Great. Oh, I'm done. Ah, uh, not yet. Last part of the exam's an essay question. I need to write a practice one. 3,000 words. What? I haven't been out of the house all day. There goes the rest of my weekend. Come on, Cleo. Just think how good you'll feel when you pass. Uh, Charlotte, you've got these. These sketches of Lewis were done today. Pretty good likeness, don't you think? Is everything all right? Sure. Everything's perfectly clear. She's been doing all this on purpose. Giving me heaps of homework, keeping me out of action while she moves in on Lewis. Hang on, what's she doing exactly? She's been sketching him. Cleo, don't you think you might be overreacting just a little? Hello? I even caught her wearing my locket. She wanted to know why we all wear them. Why would she want to know that? I don't know. Maybe we'd better find Lewis. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Just because she likes a piece of jewellery. It's not about the jewellery. She manipulated the whole situation. She volunteered to tutor me so she would keep me busy while she worked on you. Worked on me? What are you talking about? We think she's trying to get close to us. There's a, another possibility. Maybe Charlotte just likes me? <sighs> Lewis, she's taking advantage of you. Why do you care? Anyway... I don't. I mean, we're just trying to look after our secret. Well, if that's all you're worried about, forget it. 
your secret safe with me. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going out with Charlotte. Really? Where? Mako Island. And before you all totally freak out, she just wants to go there to sketch the beach. Nothing more. Lewis, have you completely lost your mind? See? First the locket, now Mako Island. She's getting too close. Cleo's right, you can't take Charlotte to Mako. I agree. Mako is off limits. Says who? You're not in charge of me. If I want to take Charlotte to Mako, I will. In fact, that's what I'm going to do right now. So stop bossing me around. Well, that seemed to go pretty well. Great. Hmm? I said this is going to be great. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Exactly the same. It's what I thought. So, um, you're just gonna sketch this and then we'll be off? Oh, no way. I wanna see more. There's a whole folio of paintings here to compare. I'm gonna kill Lewis for this. He's got some serious payback coming. He looks like he's got it under control. They're staying by the beach. As long as he doesn't head inland. Charlotte, where are we going? I really wanna find where this is. I think it might be further inland. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Why don't we go back along the beach the other way? <laughs> Why? What are you scared of? It could be dangerous. There could be uh, caves and trees and bugs. I'm not scared of bugs. Are you coming? <sighs> it's beautiful. Yeah, what? I've got the weirdest feeling someone's watching us. Nobody comes out here. But maybe we should head back. No, not yet. I can't see them. Cleo! Cleo! What are you doing? I'm cold. But it's about 28 degrees. Well, not in the shade, it's not. Ah, uh, well, then we should head back down to the beach where uh, it's sunny. Don't you want to sit with me? Charlotte, I think now would be a good time to remember that we're just... What? Definitely heard something. There. Charlotte. Charlotte, there's something I need to tell you. through the result from your supplementary exam. You got an A. Well done, sweetheart. That's good, I suppose. Dad, can I have Charlotte tutor me next time? You must be over the moon, Cleo. Yeah, I 
It's great. I've been thinking, why don't we invite Charlotte over for a barbecue so you can thank her properly? What did I say? Cleo, I wanted to see you. I figured maybe we needed to talk. Talk? Talk about what? Well, you know, about stuff. About Mako Island, actually. Um, when I was out there with Charlotte, it, it probably looked different from how it really was. You don't have to explain. I understand. You do? Yeah. There's nothing going on between us. You can do what you want. Right. Okay, that's good to know. Leo! Heard you did really well in your supplementary exam. Yeah, great, actually. My best mark ever. Aren't you going to thank me? Thanks. For everything. So, are you still going out tonight? Yeah. I guess so. Great, because I was thinking movies. Come on, let's go. He's not happy, anyone can see that. Even if he is, it's not going to last. It doesn't matter. It's his life. Anyway, I just passed an exam. Who wants a juice? I'm buying. are going to love this. Okay, so what's the big surprise? Check it out. Nice yacht. Thinking of buying it or stealing it? Neither. It, it was caught in a storm off the coast a few weeks ago. So? The people got off, but they lost everything on board, including this. I think Emma's mum's got one of these. I doubt it. This one's a genuine Tibetan antique, worth a fortune. Lying at the bottom of the ocean, it's not. Exactly. And there's a reward for whoever can find it. Why do I get the feeling this is a setup? I'm not searching the ocean for a garden ornament for your yard. Think about it. This colour looks so good on you. Looks way better on you. You've got a deeper complexion. Knock, knock. Come right in. Thanks. Hi, Cleo. Hi. Well, I'm glad you two are here. Where's Ricky? Don't know. Why? I wanted to tell you guys, you know, even though things have changed, you can still trust me. Trust you? Even though you're going out with Charlotte? I'm not going out with Charlotte. We're just, um, we're, uh, I don't know, companions? <clears throat> Whatever. It hasn't changed anything. I'm still here for you guys. I'm the only one that knows your secret. That's not true. Zane knows we're mermaids. He's exactly the type you can't trust. He's whatever the complete opposite is to trustworthy. Lewis, you took Charlotte out to make our island. I thought we could rely on you. We all did. You can. Come on, I'm your backup guy. The one you turn to in your hour of need. It's me, Lewis. Same as ever. Come on, you've got to believe me. Morning, Em. Lewis, we're meant to be going to the beach today, remember? <clears throat> Charlotte, how did you know I was here? Oh, your mum told me. <laughs> she tells me everything. Mm -hmm. Hi, Cleo. Yeah, hi. Lewis, come on. Well, I will have my phone with me. Call me if you need me. All right, we will. Should skip town. 
Yeah, maybe we should. Dad, is everything okay? Well, I'll be honest with you, Ricky, we're struggling. <laughs> Can't even make the rent on this joint. We might have to start looking around. You mean we have to move? Somewhere cheaper, maybe up the country. I know you like this town, you've made some really good friends, but I'm sorry, sweetheart. It's okay. I'm over the surf and sand thing anyway. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Don't worry, Dad. Things will work out. So tell me about this reward. I thought you'd come around. The owners of the yacht are friends of my dad's. They're offering $10,000 to anyone who can bring it back in one piece. And you think we can? Do I think a mermaid can find something at the bottom of the ocean? So the yacht went missing somewhere near Mako. If we search the area grid by grid, we're bound to find it. So what's really in it for you? The glory. I'm a hero, you know that. Help me out and I'll split it with you. 50-50. 60-40. Okay, 60-40. It's a big area. And there's another problem. They're announcing the reward this afternoon, so by tomorrow that whole area will be swarming with divers. So we've only got today. Can't be done. Not by one mermaid. Don't ever go for it. Don't underestimate yourself. You can be very convincing. It's a very rare, one of a kind Tibetan statue. It's beautiful. And it's been lost off the coast. It's terrible. Yep. Zane knows the general area which it was lost in, but now he's just going to leave it there. Zane? Yeah, friends of his dad's lost it overboard. And it's just going to stay there? At the bottom of the ocean? Yep. But it, it should be in a museum or something. That's what I said. But Zane thinks it's lost forever. A hundred scuba divers could never find it. Maybe we could look for it. It's a very big search area. Bottom of the ocean? Mermaids? Come on. It could work. With the three of us, Em. Cleo, we should think this through. What's the problem? The problem is Zane's involved. Hey, great plan, by the way. I had no idea you were such a good liar. I didn't lie. I just didn't mention the money, that's all. I know, but what harm can there be? We find the statue, it goes to a museum. We've done a good thing. I know, but Zane and done a good thing, that doesn't go together. And I'm pretty sure Lewis wouldn't think it was a good idea. In case you haven't noticed, Lewis isn't here. I'll split it with them when we find it. You won't object if I don't do the same. Here they come. Can I sin? So you'll each search the area grid by grid. The statue will be in a packing case like this. So how are we going to get it to the surface? When you find it, you'll attach this flotation device. Simple as that. Hey, you're the ones that want to do this. If you've got a better plan, I'm happy to listen. He's done all the calculations. Lewis isn't the only one who knows a little something about physics. That's true. OK, let's go get ourselves some treasure. Come on. It's 
go for a swim. Um, sure. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. It's just that Cleo didn't used to swim, so I wasn't really expecting to go in. I know, it's silly. She doesn't like swimming. Oh, no, she loves swimming. Just a different sort. A different sort of swimming? Yeah. Well, she, she doesn't like surf. She doesn't like waves. Doesn't mean we can't, though, right? Of course not. Hey! <laughs> There's no sign of any boat. Are you sure this is the right area? I'm certain. Okay, what do you reckon about this grid next? You seem very keen to find this thing. Why wouldn't I be? It's a worthy cause. Got a feeling this next grid could be it. We need to find out more about this statue. I say we call Lewis. What for? He might at least know if the statue actually exists. Fine. But I'm not calling I'll you. do it. Do you have your phone? I didn't bring mine. Still got him on speed dial? Cleo. Sorry, he's busy. He switched me off. So much for call me if you need me. You guys ready for the next dive? Still nothing? No. Nah. Give me the next grid. You really want this, don't you? Don't you? Financial reward is one of my favourite phrases. Reward? There's a reward? Yeah. So it looks like you'll have to force yourselves to accept some money. I knew we couldn't trust you. We're out of here, right? Right. Come on, Ricky. Um, I'm gonna keep looking. Why? He conned you? No, he didn't. I knew about it all along. So you lied to us? Why? It's a lot of money. Come on, you're here already. We might as well just keep looking. I don't think so, Ricky. I can't do it on my own. Well, you're gonna have to. Zane's dad's loaded. Why would he be after the reward? Who knows what makes him tick or what Ricky sees in him. That's why I've got a really bad feeling about leaving her there. It was Ricky's choice. Every time she's around him, she loses it big time. Still, look, Cleo, if she wants to help him find that thing so much, then let her do it. So long as we're not involved. I suppose. Besides, she was the one who talked us into it. It's not like she was looking out for us, otherwise she would have been honest up front. I'm going. <laughs> be pressuring her somehow. Cleo, don't make excuses for her. She used us. How's it going? Fine, now. What happened? You'd know if you kept your phone on like you said you would. It is on. It's always on. OK, it's not on. I don't know how it could switch itself off. I'm really sorry. So why'd you call? It's not important now. Guys, come on, if something's wrong, I want to help.
So once you're down there, you'll attach these ropes to the crate. Once the balloon starts to rise, I'll help you haul it up from here. No problem. You sure you can do this by yourself? I'm fine. Ricky, you look exhausted. Look, we can call it quits and come back tomorrow. Oh, that'll make an interesting haul for some salvage crew. A gold statue and a mermaid. We could get here first thing before anyone else shows. I said I'm fine. I've put way too much work in finding this thing and now you're saying I should just walk away. All I'm saying is just... just be careful. I know exactly where it is. One more dive and I've got it. Then I'll sleep for a week. I promise. I can't let it go when I'm this close. I did warn you not to trust Zane. We didn't trust him, we trusted Ricky. And you didn't think there was anything suspicious at all? After a while, that's why we called you. Oh, I should have been more careful. I don't know how this happened. There you are. Hey, hey, I just needed to find out what the guys have been up to. What have they been up to? Not as much as you and Lewis, that's for sure. The beach sounded great. Yeah, it was so much fun. We had the best time body surfing. Cleo, Lewis tells me that you're scared of the water. Well, you want to be careful. You never know what's in the water. You wouldn't want something pulling you under. She means rips or currents. Who wants a juice? Got her out of the water. She's breathing, but she's not moving. I need you guys to get here now. It's Ricky. She's been hurt. Where are you going? With them. They need me. What about me? We're meant to be together, and you're always chasing after them. Is that why you turned my phone off? Oh, we were having a great time. I didn't want them interrupting. It was important. Yeah. They survived. Lewis. I told you. They need me. Okay, we need to warm her up. Keep her head to one side. Come okay. On, Ricky. Come on, Ricky. What's that? Okay, these are smelling salts. Back up, they really stink. Come on. Oh, Ricky, wake oh, Ricky, up. Wake up. Wake up. It's not doing anything. Please, Ricky. Ricky, please. Please, please, Ricky. please. Come on. <coughs> Lewis, you, you've really got to do something about your breath. I saw the crate coming down, and that was it until I opened my eyes and saw you guys. You really had me worried there. Serves you right. If you hadn't pressured her into chasing that reward, none of this would have happened. He didn't. Ricky, don't cover for him. I'm not. 
I was the one doing all the pressuring. He told me to forget about it, but I wouldn't. And when I got hurt, he saved me. And the lying to us? I knew you'd believe the story if it came from me. Why? I told you, the money. I need it for my dad. He can't cover the bills or the rent. We might have to move away. From us? He's thinking of leaving for good. Why didn't you tell me? I, I can handle any bills you've got. That's why I didn't tell you. We don't take charity. And yeah, I know you guys are all going to want to help, and I appreciate that, but we can't take any money. Dad and I will sort this out. I'm really sorry I lied to you. It's OK. Thanks, Lewis. You were great today. Yeah. Thanks. Zane, I looked at your plan for raising the crate. Pretty good. Except that it didn't work. I've got a few ideas, if you're interested. Your beverage. Thank you. You're looking much better today, Ricky. Yeah, I feel better. This is almost ready. Where's Lewis? He's probably too busy. Hey, guys! Here he is now. Did you get it? Yep. You're late. I said 3.30. Sorry, I got caught up. Let me guess. Charlotte. She can wait. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Uh, Ricky. This is for you. What is it? Uh, it's a bill for the petrol for yesterday. Very funny. It's a check for the reward. Lewis and I salvaged the crate this morning. The two of us in scuba gear, plus an all-new flotation device. It wasn't, it wasn't too difficult. Ooh. Wow. I told you I don't take charity. It's not charity. You did all the hard work. Yeah, you found the crate. And there is such a thing as danger money. Ricky, take it. You deserve it. My dad is gonna freak. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. Let's get this barbecue happening. Oh, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> Joking. this coloured piece you found, Emma. It matches Hector's eyes. Great. It was worth cutting my finger for. He has coloured eyes? Of course. Get closer. It's hard to get to know Hector. He can be a little standoffish at times. So why isn't Hector in with the others? Because I'm starting a new tank. It's like building a whole new suburb. It's really exciting. Right. So what's this bit? The shopping mall? What do you think, Em? You're looking a bit pale. Yeah, I'm fine. Is that his fish food? Hector's favourite. Anchovy flavoured. But I only give him one pinch per day so he doesn't put on weight. What, they don't make life hat fish food?
Emma. Can I have a word? Sure you can. Can you keep a secret? Of course. It's your dad's and my wedding anniversary tomorrow and I'm going to make a romantic dinner for them. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, I'm cooking lobster thermidor. Really? Yes. That's my favourite. Is it here? Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's your father's favourite too. Now, I want this to say a surprise. Elliot's going to stay overnight at a friend's place. And you want me to stay at Cleo's. Don't worry, you won't see me. What's that noise? Sardines. What are you taking sardines upstairs for? Why not? if I can sleep over. If that doesn't work, any place will do. Well, well, While Elliot and me are away, Mum and Dad are having a romantic dinner. Isn't that sweet? Well... They're having lobster thermidor, my favourite. Hi, Wilfred, don't mind me. Hope I'm still romantic when I'm as ancient as them. Feel like fish? For breakfast. Why not? I've got the edge for tuna. Jackpot. What? Mmm, white bait. It's beautiful and crunchy. Just like pretzels, want some? Mmm, mmm, yum. Mm, mm. Oh, salmon. Uh, Emma, could you leave some for the customers? Sorry. Hey, you know what? I feel like a swing. See ya. Don't ask, because I have no idea. I won these free double passes. I never win anything. When you said a date, I thought you were talking about something romantic. But this is romantic. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, what about the, the train under the volcano ride? That'll be fun. Hey, guys. Isn't it a beautiful day? I think so. Sardines? Uh, no thanks. What do you... See ya. really weird. Emma's very sensible. She can take care of herself. Hector can't. What's he doing? Watch. Take a step back. Yikes! What's that all about? I have no idea. None of my fish have ever done anything like this before. Well, Maybe you're not feeding him enough. I've been feeding him all morning, but he still wants more. And look at his scales. They're turning white. I'm really scared, Ricky.
Hold this, Lewis. Where are you going? Oh, don't take too long. I've got a bit of a schedule I'd like to stick to. Schedule? There's lots of rides. And if we want to go on all of them in one day, we need to stick to the plan. convince her to come out. She's not listening to me. I managed to keep people away so far. I'll but... stay. You guys go. Uh, sorry. You can't go down there. There's been some flooding. It's very dangerous. But I'd suggest the roller coaster. Cleo. Charlotte, hi. Well, what are you doing here? I work here. Well, not today, but sometimes I just like to hang out here for no reason at all. You? I'm on a date with Lewis. Really? Hope that's going well. Lewis is meant to be minding this. Where is he? I don't know. Maybe he's abandoned you. He wouldn't do that. Maybe he went down there. Uh, no, actually, I thought I saw him heading towards the chairlift. You better hurry if you want to catch him. to be able to keep people out of here forever. Hey! Lewis, isn't it? Laurie! Hey! How's it going? What's going on? Feeding time for the sharks. Great. Can't you feed them later? Nope. Uh, we try to feed them at the same time every day. Oh, that's, that's really cool and interesting. Um... Laurie! Oh, hey, Cleo, what's up? Uh, anything exciting? No. Everything's boring. It's a feeding time. Why don't I help? We've got to get her to the surface. Come on. It's all yours. Hey! We're gonna need more fish. It's like she's possessed. It's weird. It's not a full moon. What's going on here? Whatever it is, it's revolting. How can she eat that much fish? I'm thirsty. I'll get you a drink. Emma! Emma, no! Emma! That's better. Nice one, guys. Emma, what's happened to you? I don't know. Those white scales, that's what Hector has. Who? Hector's her new fish. He's been acting the same. He's hungry all the time and he's acting crazy too. I don't get it. Why would Emma be acting like your sick fish? The coral. Emma cut herself on a piece of coral. I'm really worried about Hector. He looks worse. Well, getting him into fresh water is a start. So you think that's toxic? Corals are strange. I wouldn't know where to start. Well, what about Laurie? He's a marine biologist. He could do some tests. Good idea. 
Lewis is fine. Oh. Hi, Charlotte. Um, no, I'm just holding his phone for him. He's not here, he's... He's on the water side. He really didn't want his phone to get wet. Gotta go, bye. Will you hold still? Poor fish! Again with the fish, forget about the fish! All right, I'll be back in a second. You know, one of the most toxic poisons known is a polytoa toxin found in coral. Laurie, um, Cleo and her fish are very close soulmates. She would really appreciate if you could analyse this ASAP. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I'll, uh, I'll do my best. Hey, Ricky, what's up? She's gone. We've got to find her. Leo, where's Lewis? How should I know? You answered his phone earlier. Well, that was earlier. I haven't seen him in ages. Maybe he's gone home. Oh, you're a bad liar, Cleo. Are you trying to ruin our date? What? No. Because I've looked everywhere for him and the only person I can find is you. Charlotte, I've got more important things to do right now. Goodbye. This antitoxin should reverse the effects of the coral. How long will it take? If it works, it should take effect immediately. Hi, Charlotte. I, uh, I thought we were meeting at the volcano ride. That's where I am now and... Uh, <laughs> we might get cut out and... and you, uh, out. Hey. Looks like he's on the mend. Great. So the antitoxin works. But the earlier the patient gets it, the better? Yes, otherwise the scale mutation process keeps progressing until it's too late. I'd say we got to him just in time. Any longer and he'd have died for sure. Gotta go. Feeding time. I might take some of this in case other fish are infected. Help yourself. I'm sure if they had someone dressed as a mermaid, they'd advertise it, all right? Let's go. game is, Cleo, but whatever it is, just give it up. Look, Shan, maybe Lewis... No, I'm not interested in any more stories. This was meant to be a date. Uh, just tell Lewis I've gone home. Angry suits her. If you hurry, you can still catch her. Emma? No, Charlotte. Maybe later. Guys, Emma was here in the lagoon at feeding time. Chasing fish again? Yeah, but now she's gone. She's got to be after more food. Oh, yeah, but where?
Neil? Is that you? You. Oh. <laughs> Is everything all right? Yes, yes, it's fine. Wow, well, you look fantastic. Well, it is our anniversary. Come with me. I'm throwing together a little romantic dinner. Your favourite? Not lobster. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, yes, yes. Such a lovely change to have the house all to ourselves. What was that? I was going to tell you earlier, but I just didn't want to worry you. What? Well, I thought I heard a noise, like there was someone here. Who's there? Oh, me. Mind us, we're, we're just passing through. Yeah. Yep, Emma left some things behind. Somebody was here and they took all the lobster. Um, we're just gonna go and get Emma's things from upstairs. No, no. I better check the house first. Okay, we're right behind you, Mr. Gilbert. do is use the antitoxin. We're here. Emma accidentally fell asleep earlier. Yes, you did. And we were trying to sneak her out so that you and your wife could have a quiet evening together alone. <gasps> oh, Emma, you didn't. So you think your folks will ever celebrate their anniversary again? Maybe. But they're never going to let me near another lobster. Well, you'll be glad to know that Hector's back to normal. And you're going to have to do something to make up for this. So are they. I can try and get us back into the marine park. Something romantic. 
Yeah, Charlotte. You know that you can hire gondolas on the canal? Gondolas? Yes, a romantic trip down the canal by moonlight. Would we'll I have to paddle? <laughs> Trust me, Hector's much more normal than those two. <laughs>